Hi there and welcome to Math with Bill. My name is Bill and in this video we're going to look at one of the derivatives of trig functions. The specific one is cotangent. Okay? So cotangent we abbreviate with COT and if we're looking to take the derivative with respect to theta or respect to x or really whatever um, of cotangents of theta we're going to use previous knowledge. We're going to use everything that we have already known. Now, one way to describe cotangents of theta directly would be to use its quotient property uh, or quotient identity of it being cosine theta divided by sine theta. And we could go through and use the derivative property for quotients and that would give us the same answer but I've got a quicker way to get there and that's by using our other identity, the reciprocal identity for cotangent, which is one divided by tangent of theta. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit quicker, a few less steps. If you want to do it the other way, go for it. Okay, but I've got one divided by tangents, which is the same thing as tangent theta to the negative one power. That being said, if I want to take the derivative here, now, it's pretty simple because I know the derivative of tangents and I only have a general power rule, okay? So dd theta of tan theta to the negative one power is going to be a negative one times tan theta to the negative two power times a derivative which is secant squared Again, there's your derivative, you're already done. What we need to do is clean it up a little bit. Okay, so let's go about cleaning it up. So I have a negative one over one times one over tangent squared theta times secant squared theta over one, or the opposites of secant squared divided by tangent squared. At this point, if your trig division isn't up to snuff, it's okay. We can change each of these into their own separate, uh, into their own separate pieces. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Secant again is one divided by cosine theta, and we're going to multiply that times the reciprocal of tangent, which is cotangent. So. cosine squared over sine squared. And in this multiplication, okay, so we've got this negative one, carrying that over, and the one divided by cosine squared times cosine squared. Well, these two we're going to cancel out. Those two cosines will cancel each other out, leaving us with negative one divided by sine squared theta which is more commonly known as the opposites of cosecant of theta. So, in short, our derivative with respect to theta of cotangents. Theta is equal to a, a negative cosecants. Theta squared. So that finishes, that finishes out this video series. If you haven't yet viewed the limit definition to where we get our sine and cosine from, you should do that because it might be required on a test that you take. Again, the derivative with respect, uh, the derivative of cotangent is the opposite of cosecant squared. Thanks. Have a good day.